But it's got that, you know, it doesn't have that handmade artisanal thing going on. I mean... Hey, it's Matt Criscuolo coming to you up close and personal, and I'm going to be doing another throat pie pizza review. This one is going to be at this place. It's called Hungry Howie's. Hungry Howie's. Never heard of it before. I don't know what I'm getting into, but I'm going to check it out and see if it's any good. You know, I. Uh, it looks like a chain. It looks like a franchise. It's got that kind of, you know, they got the conveyor oven, uh, pizza oven uh, in there for quick uh, turnaround and blah, blah, blah. It's easier for people to make pizza that way. Anybody could open up one of these franchises. You don't have to know how to make pizza pretty much. All right, so I don't know, you know, what kind of pizza they make. And listen, sometimes it could be the most amazing pizza you ever had. And sometimes, eh, not so much. But we'll figure it out and, and see what's going on. I literally just got a small little pizza, which is probably about six inches in diameter. Uh, with two toppings and a bottle of water for under ten dollars and I got news for you that those margins are really tight and It's fair to say that the ingredients are not going to be that great because let's face it You get what you pay for but you know what's funny is sometimes you can make stuff taste really good Even if it's not really the highest quality ingredients. I don't know how they do it. I never figured that out I always had to use the finest ingredients in my places uh, to get the best results, but mm, we'll figure it out. And, I mean, we'll see what's going on, and and uh, and I'll and I'm gonna give it a throat pie score after I eat it. So let's see. Woohoo! They got the right branding, nice colors, really pretty yellow. You know, yellow red makes you hungry. They they've proven that the yellow and the reds really make people hungry. Those are the scientific studies. That's why McDonald's has yellow and red everywhere. Look at this place. Yellow, red, black, and white. Can you get any more uh, primary than that? Primary colors, baby. Let's get everybody excited. Woohoo! They got all the little trickery going on. But hey, listen, it might be the real deal. We'll figure it out. We'll see what's going on. So apparently this Hungry Howie's was made... Uh, hey, there's a yellow Corvette. I wonder if that's Hungry Howie's Corvette. But apparently this place was opened by a good old American boy, which is always kind of surprising to me. I know it's, uh, you, know, pe you know, Italians don't have a monopoly. Uh, on uh, pizzeria ownership, I get it. You know, some of the best pizzerias are owned by good old American boys. I, I consider myself a good old American boy, but I ain't like, you know, from Louisiana or Alabama. You know, I'm from the Bronx, I'm an Italian American. So for me, like, you know, my blood type is ragu. So I always think of pizza as being like, you know, a, you know, the paisans and the kumbas, they make the pizza, that pizza, right? But actually, you know, apparently some guy named Jim Hearn uh, founded uh, Hungry Howie's back in the 70s. And he was just a, you know, good old American boy. Yeah, I'm talking back. And this place has all sorts of specials. $8.99. Wacky Wednesday. You get a large pizza, a large sub, a salad, and a, a baked pasta with one topping for $8.99. Are you serious? What the hell? $8.99? In my pizzerias, it costs more than that to make those things. But those are probably called what, what we call lost leaders, just to get people in the dough. So I ended up getting the garlic herb crust. You can pick your own crust. So I thought that was fun because me and garlic, we tight. We get along. You know, I never met uh, a garlic that I never, I, I never met a garlic I didn't like. Me and garlic, we, we get along. You know what I'm saying? Well, I got the pizza. I was going to get a soda, but I decided to just stick with pizza. So I'm going to go to my car in my own little privacy, and I'm going to eat the pizza, and I'm going to let you know what I think, and we're going to give it a throat pie Go. Okay, so here we is. Um, I've got no business eating pizza, okay? I eat too much pizza, and it shows. I've lost my girlish figure, but I do it for you. Uh, anyway, look at that box. I mean, it's got that nice little logo on it, 50 years of flavor. The pizza's kind of heavy. I got two pe toppings on there, pepperoni and peppers. Hungry Howie's, he's got the, look, he's got the, 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 the QR code, that's smart. Start earning free pizza, see that? They got the rewards points, you need, to, you need to do all that stuff nowadays. Oh, look at that little pizza. This was cooked in a pan, like a pan, you know, like a, like a deep dish pan, and then they took it out, and that was it. Wowzers, woo, look at that. It looks kind of fun, I like the way it looks. But it's got that, you know, it doesn't have that handmade artisanal thing going on. I mean, 
you can tell by looking at it, it's got that, you know, it's... And don't look at my tummy. My tummy is not good to look at. If you call it a tummy. I have other words for it. It's not tummy. Mmm. 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 Oh. I'm a little bit of a piggy. Yummy. Woo! I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Oh! Oh. Fresh green peppers with a little crunch. Not bad. The cheese is nice and melty and creamy. The pepperoni is not bad. The sauce is pretty good too. And you know what? The bottom has that kind of, you see the bottom? It's got that pan thing going on. And you can see that they dock it. You see those little holes? See these little holes over here? That's from a, what they call a docker. It's, it's like a rolling pin that's got like little pegs sticking out of it. And uh, you'll roll that on the crust and it kind of, you know, takes some of the air out and tamps it down a little bit. Oh man, I just had the garlic on the crust. The garlic crust, I get it. Woo! Dang! Pretty good, boy. Let me tell you, if you're going for flavor, that's not bad. I'm digging that. Oh yeah. I'm digging that. That's a nice little pie. That's a nice little pie for what it is. You know, some people might say that I'm not very picky, but I, I think I'm pretty picky. Look at the bottom of that. You know, it's nice. It's kind of cute. I would call it a cute little pie. Mmm. 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 It's it in the, it's checking all the boxes for me, boy. They really figured out how to make a pizza inexpensively easy to, to make because you don't need a lot of skill to make this kind of pizza and just the overall flavor and product is impressively impressively good wow oh. wow oh. okay the pizza sauce the pizza sauce is not that you, that you would get like in a, in Brooklyn or in the Bronx or in New Haven Connecticut it's not that but it's got a nice little tangy tomatoey thingy going on. Woohoo! I'm digging it. I like it. Anyway, if I had to give this a throat pie score, mmm, and the crust with that garlic herb on it, damn, it's good. Ugh. Crazy, but I'm gonna give this a throat pie score of like a, I think like an eight. I mean, it's that, it's that good. Either that or I'm really super hungry. But I like it. I think it's pretty damn good. Hey, look, that's my take on things. What do you think? Well, did you like this review? Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to post a comment. Let me know if you want me to come out to your city and try a pizza somewhere there. And uh, hey, look, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. And you take it easy. And if it's real easy, take it twice.